This is Michael Popak with the Legal AF Hot Take. Donald Trump's social media platform, Truth Social, is about to go public as early as Monday. And as a 60% owner of the shares, he stands to make a $3.5 billion windfall on the backs of retail investors, primarily Trump supporters, who are pumping up the stock price on Truth Social itself, not based on any economic fundamentals that support the valuation of the company in the several billion dollars, up to $6 billion. It is effectively a meme or cult stock that's only being invested in primarily by people who support Donald Trump. Literally, the stock symbol uh, for the stock when it goes public will be Donald Trump's initials, DJT. The underlying fundamentals are not being examined by the investors because they don't care at all. If they examined the fundamentals, they would understand this is a meme or cult stock that has no um, economic purpose other than to line Donald Trump's pockets. There's no other way to put it. Revenue in 2023 for the entire company, revenue was less than $4 million dollars which is not a lot of revenue for a social media company. I'll put it at that. It's um, it's a profit, negative $49 million. So this is a company that had $50 million of loss on three or $4 million of revenue. And people have bid that stock price up to over $40 a share. Unit price for an investment in a special purpose acquisition company, a SPAC, which is how this Trump... Truth Social Media Company starts or started was $10 a unit. So people have bid up the price by 400% based on zero economic reality because they don't care. They don't care. They're just trying to put, they know they're putting money in the pocket of Donald Trump and they're doing it. I mean, just to show you the size comparison, Truth Social has 9 million users. I mean, that sounds like a lot, except when you understand that Facebook a competitor of theirs, has 3 billion users. They're up against Meta, Facebook, Twitter, X, and all of that. Even Reddit, which is going public at a ridiculously high number, at least has business fundamentals behind it and profit and a size, just the sheer gargantuan size of Reddit. I mean, this is very familiar, except uh, tie it to the cult of Donald Trump, to the meme stock run in 2021, that bid up for no reason whatsoever the stock price of GameStop and Bed Bath & Beyond. Remember that company? <laughs> Where is it today? There's a whole mo book and movie about this run. It's called Dumb Money. And the Dumb Money, which are retail investors on, at that time on Reddit, who just decided to save GameStop from short-selling institutional investors because, you know, they like taking out video games from malls. Uh, so they decided to rally around it and, and save it. And they bid the price up and there became these paper millionaires and hundred millionaires, uh, before the stock ultimately crashed because GameStop is not fundamentally a proper business model, good business model, Bed Bath & Beyond either. And AMC movies, these were the, during COVID, these were the, uh, the entities that Reddit investors rallied around. Same thing's going on here. Truth Social so when people say, wow, stock price is high, I should get into it. I mean, I'm not giving stock advice here. <laughs> Let's be clear. However, <laughs> I'm just giving you the fundamentals. Terrible set of loss numbers for Trump for Trump media. But you know that it's being bid up uh, as a cult stock because of the comments that are being made in, uh, in Truth Social that this is a way to support their cult leader. I mean, the comments alone, I'm just going to read, I'm just going to read a couple of them to you. The comments alone tell you everything you need to know. Um, when somebody wanted to bid the price up to 45, 47, just a random number, uh, the user on, so on Truth Social named Pratty Daddy said, great way to say Patriots in control or trust the plan if we can get it to 45 something. And he would be the 47th president. So let's get it to 45, 47. This has nothing to do with the fundamental economics of the business model. This has to do with, with uh, you know, crazy Trump supporters who want to bid up the stock to put money in his pocket. Similarly, another Truth Social user admitted um, 
on on the platform, quote, I bought several times last Monday and Tuesday, little by little, to show support of the stock. Another one wrote, this is a truth moment. And no matter what happens tomorrow, this merger will happen tomorrow or in the future. We will win this war no matter what. This is all reporting in the Wall Street Journal. And I've looked at the SPAC issue before, the special purpose acquisition company issue, um, which is what this is. This is a way generally for a company to quickly go public without having to go through all of the regulatory hurdles that the Securities and Exchange Commission requires to protect investors, frankly. And the SEC has cracked down on SPACs and for a year delayed the merger between Truth Social, Donald Trump's company, not public, and uh, Digital World Acquisition Company, DWAC, the shell, meaning it has no assets, but is a publicly listed company. It went through the process of publicly listing to be a SPAC, a blank check company, to make an acquisition of something somewhere, somehow. And it did. So it collects money, the way the SPAC works again, is that it collects money on the promise that within a year or sometimes longer, it will invest that money in some entity. The investor, it's supposed to be blind. The investor is not supposed to know where the money's being um, uh, invested. Because if it did, if you knew, well, if I put my money in here, it's going to end up in Truth Social. I want to own Truth Social. Then you've then the whole SPAC purpose, the the, the uh, cover that the Securities and Exchange Commission gives the SPAC, and the um, uh, 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 the ability of it to go short form, if you will, public would be um, defeated. If people knew where the investment was going, uh, if that if that were the case, you just let Truth Social go public, let it go through all the SEC regulatory hurdles, and make the investment there. So this is like a small little corner of the world of securities regulation, where you where they allowed for a time these special purpose acquisition companies, these SPACs, to take in dollars uh, blindly, if you will, and then make the investment on a blank check basis. If the, if the investor doesn't like the ultimate investment, they can get out. They have the right to redemption. They can get back for every $10 unit. They're always start at $10. They can get back their money if they don't like the investment. Of course, everybody who invested in DW, DWAC knew that it was going into the Trump hands, and they were all Trump cult followers, making it kind of the ultimate cult stock. We know that because the Securities and Exchange Commission investigated uh, and turned out that there was enough um, information that was improperly disclosed to buyers about where the SPAC was going to make its investment, they should have really just sh struck down the entire SPAC. But, you know, the SEC did and ultimately cleared DWAC after some fines and other things that ultimately were paid for out of Donald Trump's pocket and then <clears throat> allowing the company to go public, which is what we're watching now. Why is this important? Because it gives Donald Trump what I think is an improper access to new capital, a new capital infusion. Of course, a, a life preserver, a lifeline that he desperately needs, obviously. He just filed in New York court a series of papers that have declared that he is effectively financially destitute and unable to come up with a scratch to pay a uh, put up a bond of over $500 million to stop the enforcement of a civil fraud judgment against him. He's told the world in filings that no bonding company wants to do business with him. No bank wants to do business with him. Nobody will give him a letter of credit. He can't raise the money and he can't sell his property in time to stop the sale of his own property, forced sale because of the judgment. As most of you know, I'm married and a baby on the way and finding the right life insurance to protect my family with policy genius has never been more important. Make life insurance part of your financial planning this year. Start shopping now with Policy Genius to find a policy to protect your family. Getting life insurance today means you'll have peace of mind so that if something were to happen to you, your family can cover expenses while getting back on their feet. Policy Genius helps you compare your options from top companies and their team of licensed experts is on hand to help talk you through it. Having the right insurance will give me the peace of mind knowing that my family will be taken care of in a worst case scenario. Policy Genius has licensed, award winning agents and technology that makes it easy to compare life insurance quotes from America's top insurers in just a few clicks. 
to find your lowest price. With Policy Genius, you can find life insurance policies that start at just $292 per year for $1 million in coverage. Some options offer same-day approval and avoid unnecessary medical exams. Policy Genius works for you, not the insurance companies. That means they don't have an incentive to recommend one insurer over another, so you can trust their guidance, save time and money, and provide your family with a financial safety net using Policy Genius. Head to policygenius.com slash legal AF or click the link in the description to get your free life insurance quotes and see how much you could save. That's policygenius.com slash legal AF. And so he's he's been trying, as I said in an earlier hot take, he's he's been trying to get to this late March date where the SPAC of investors would vote to, for the merger which is going to happen given the stock valuation price. Right now, the stock valuation price, based on, as I said, no fundamentals and a loss of $50 million, is over $6 billion. That's all just, you know, this is like the tulip market in Holland, <laughs> the first, you know, pump and dump scheme in the history of the world. Uh, this price has nothing to do with fundamentals. And therefore, uh, but Donald Trump doesn't care. It's a sucker's bet. And Donald Trump believes, as P.T. Barnum, that there's a sucker born every minute, and he's just going to take whatever he can get. Now, there's a lockup period where for six months after the merger happens and the stock goes publicly traded, which could start as early as Monday, again, under DJT stock symbol. I'm not giving you stock advice. I'm just telling you what they're trading under. <laughs> I think I think you got that from the Zotik. I'm not recommending the stock. But um, there's usually, there is a six-month lockup period under the under the agreements. Now, what do, what doesn't get talked about is that the shareholders can waive the six-month period on behalf of Donald Trump. He owns 60% of it. And they can waive it and allow him to both sell on the open market, which, by the way, will crush the stock price. If Donald Trump sells his 79 million shares or any large chunk of it, it will depress the stock. Even a meme cult stock will get depressed for sale. Okay. Now, maybe these other people that I just read about will help bid the price back up, but that usually is what happens. That's one. Secondly, if he doesn't sell, he can he can take loans against it. It's called hypothecating, but he's got to get a bank or a lender to lend him money on that. And he has declared to the world that he's having trouble with banks, mainly because he's been a judge to be a persistent fraudster under New York business law. His CFO went to jail for fraud, right? His general counsel has been a judge to have participated in a fraud. His auditors and accountants have fired the client because of fraud and being defrauded and announced that none of their 10 years of financial statements prepared for that client, Donald Trump, can be trusted, okay? Banks have fired him like Deutsche Bank. It won't do work with him any longer. He's declared to the world that no bonding company wants to do business with him. No insurance company or surety wants to do business with him. He found one in Chubb, all right, who put up $100 million only because he gave them $100 million in assets um, to back it up. Almost like a, an entire 100% or 100 cents on the dollar backing of a bond. So they really didn't give him any credit, if you will. And so he needs the money. But where is who's going to loan him money in return? Now, maybe in return for enough stock. You know, if he gives them a billion dollars of stock, because he's got three and a half billion on paper, and he takes out a loan for a billion, you know, 500 million, you know, 50% haircut against the one billion in stock, <clears throat> pardon me, he could um, solve his problem. But he's got to hurry up. But these are all the things that are important. I want people to understand that this stock price is being bid up by Trump supporters at a price that is not matched by the economic fundamentals of the company and never will. You want to invest, you invest at your own risk. Because Donald Trump, everything he's ever touched in business has either been a judge to be committed persistent fraud, has been the subject for a half a billion dollar civil fraud judgment, and this close to being put out of business, has a, a, a monitor over it, a, uh, a court-appointed monitor over all business transactions because it can't be trusted, or has gone bankrupt four times, more than four times. Donald Trump himself has gone personally bankrupt at least four times. His businesses have gone bankrupt as well. 
If you just look at the list of things that he's had a list in securities filings, because he's had to admit them, you would never make an investment in Donald Trump, right? I know the American people, some percentage of them did make an investment in Donald Trump, continue to make an investment in Donald Trump, but it's the biggest loser sucker bet that there is out there. There's no other way to put it. I'm not being mean. <laughs> I'm just stating the facts. Almost every business he's ever touched has gone bankrupt or has been closed or shut down, including being shut down by the New York Attorney General's office in New York. Um, the New York Attorney General just got a $500 million judgment against him. A prior New York Attorney General shut down uh, two of his businesses for fraud. And uh, <clears throat> this is the person who is the Republican um, nominee for the President of the United States, somebody who controls a meme or cult stock that people invest in to support him, that has no economic fundamentals behind it, that um, should actually close. If anybody else went to a bank and said, here's my company, I've got $3 million in revenue for the year, and that would not interest any bank, they'd be like, okay. And I have $50 million of loss in that year, and I need a loan. There's no bank in the world that would give that. I mean, you might have foreign investors, and this is the problem. You might have foreign assets making investment in Donald Trump, who has declared to the world that he's for sale. All Whenever you have to go to the capital markets, you're telling the world that you're for sale, in one way or the other. Donald Trump is bargaining right now with, with foreign, potentially enemy investors to take positions in stock. I mean, foreigners can own stock. I mean, they can, if they want to help Donald Trump, you know, Russians can buy stock. Um, others can buy stock in various ways that are not uh, allied with our country's interests. So you're there, literally, he's told the world that he is up for sale and he's auctioning himself off uh, one piece at a time. And we have to worry about that. We're putting somebody potentially in back into the White House who has uh, not his own, uh, not the American people's interest at heart, but his own financial interests compromised by his financial failings and the requirement that he take in new investors. I mean, there's no other way to put it. So we'll continue to follow the DW, uh, sorry, DJT stock gone public and what it means and what Donald Trump does with the $3.5 billion windfall as he crushes the meme um, retail investor who's on his truth social media and whether they care or not and whether the foreign entities that I've identified, it could be any of them, Saudi Arabia, Russia, China, uh, find a way to invest in Donald Trump through the stock market and prop him up to give him money and make him beholden to those interests. We will see. I mean, we already have his lawyer, Alina Haba, on a friendly news channel, not willing to deny that they're they're going out to foreign capital and foreign sources in order to um, solve his judgment debt problem. That's troubling. If that doesn't trouble you. <laughs> I mean, you know, they they made movies about this. This is like the Manchurian candidate. You know, they're putting somebody right in there that um, has already sold his soul and everything else to foreign enemies. We'll continue to follow on the Midas Touch and Legal AF right here. Um, I do this every Wednesday and Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern time and then on hot takes like this one. So until my next hot take, until my next Legal AF, this is Michael Popak reporting. Hey, Midas Mighty, love this report? Continue the conversation by following us on Instagram, at Midas Touch, to keep up with the most important news of the day. What are you waiting for? Follow us now.